Take the doctor to a room on the oh. second floor. Thank you. This is your room. Anything else you wish, sir? Wait a minute. Let me see your tongue. Bah. You have a lovely mouth. Keep your place, doctor. I oh, hope that's near you. You're a coward. I saw you down there. Coward? I assure you, you're mistaken. I'm a very courageous man. Then why didn't you show them your courage downstairs? That reminds me, I've forgotten something. Excuse me. <laughs> Steer clear of that one. Is I, uh, I can explain actually. Get out I, of uh, here. Take your things, pay what you owe me, and get out, Cooper. Now listen, Miss Bess. Uh, well, there seems to be a little misunderstanding, you see. I guess I got the rooms mixed up. And the bed as well, hmm? Uh, guess I did. He heard what you and that man were saying. He was listening? Yes, over there at the door. Not so loud. He didn't try to, to attack you or anything, did he? No. But he was kissing you. He was trying to. I hated it. There's no need to exaggerate. It was legitimate defense. Uh, she started to cry and I... I had to stop her. All right, come along. And you, cover yourself up at once. What's the matter, you ill? Please don't start that again. I mean it this time. You're as white as a sheet. And your eyes. Huh. What's the matter with my eyes? They're beautiful. Oh, that's enough. I've got work to do. Uh, they're too bright for my liking. There. Try one of these pills I have. Hmm. Swallow it. Be a good girl and swallow it. You'll thank me after. Hmm. I am. You miss me? Cheeky fellows like you make me sick. <laughs> Judging by the way you acted last night, I wouldn't believe it. Well, your aunt had to slap you to stop you from leaping at me, right in front of everybody. I think you're in love with me. You get any closer and I'll show you. I'm sorry, I'm busy now. Something's the matter, Josephine. What is it? The matter? What is it? Why, there's nothing. Come over here. For you.
Let's wish him luck. Wait, Josephine. We should stay out of things like this. He's going to the cemetery with agony. Has it gone this far? That we can't mourn for a good man? You're really a good for nothing, aren't you? First you came and posed as an eccentric doctor and caused nothing but trouble. Then you became sugar cult and you caused more trouble. Agony's dead because of you. So now you're going away. Come here, little girl. I wish you were dead. Don't you touch me. I know why you're going. All right. You tell me why. Because you've made a deal with Haverbrook. Be quiet, Josephine. It's better that Sugar Colt's going. Why? Tell me what's going on instead of trying to hush me up. Why get upset? There's nothing you don't know about. Sammy. I was hoping I'd end up in your bed. You almost ended up in the cemetery. Well, I better get out of here or I'll get you in trouble. No. But don't you worry. I'll manage things. Honey, listen. My throat is a little dry. Could I have some, uh, whiskey? Yes, but lie down now. Uh-huh. Don't go there. That's my room. Who's that bottle for? No! <laughs> Why don't you look under the bed? Let's go. some for me too. I'm thirsty. Why don't you go to the bar over there? 